Hey everybody and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another buy request song tutorial. Today, once again, I'm very excited to welcome back to the channel Miss Caroline Kane. How are you doing? Really good. Awesome. Uh, today we're going to be performing for you Big Yellow Taxi by Joni Mitchell. We're going to do a full demonstration of the tune and then I'm going to break it down for you step by step. You ready to get started? Ready. Alright, here we go. One, two, three and a four and a... Put up a parking lot With a pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot spot Don't it always seem to go That you don't know what you got till it's gone They pay paradise, put up a parking lot Cut down the trees, put them in a tree Charge the people a dollar and a half just to see them. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? They paint paradise, put up a parking lot. Hey, farmer, farmer, put away the DDT now. Give me spots on my apples, believe me, the birds and the bees. Took away my old man. The Lord, it always seemed to go, but you don't know what you got till it's gone. They paid paradise, put up a parking lot. But then, don't it always seem to go, that you don't know what you got till it's gone. They paid paradise, put up a parking lot. They paid paradise, put up a parking lot. Okay, closer get the fretboard and also my pick in hand, getting started with our intro section. Now for this song, we're in open D or dad fad tuning. Okay, so that is D, A, D, F sharp, A, and D again. Okay, now we're also going to have a capo here on the second fret, bringing us up to the key of E major. Okay, demonstrating my approach to playing this intro section now at a nice slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, breaking that intro down measure by measure, as we go through it, I'm gonna be calling these chords by their actual pitches. Now without the capo, if you take it away, we just need to transpose those chord names down one whole step. Okay, demonstrating measure number one, we're going to the chord A major. Bar in the fifth fret, making sure that each of these notes can ring nice and clear. Okay, this measure is gonna sound like this real slow. Okay, so very simple. We're starting off with a live downstroke, followed by a dead downstroke. Then, as you play an upstroke, we're going to add a couple of notes here. Your ring finger goes to the seventh fret of the A string, and then optionally, your middle finger can go to the sixth fret of the G string. This is a note that I'm playing out of preference, though I'm not hearing it on the original recording. Okay, so up, down, up. So far you have. Okay, then that's gonna be followed up with a downstroke dead and an upstroke live. All fifth frets there. Repeat that. And then we're gonna do another downstroke dead. All right, so far you have. All 
Okay, then we're gonna go back to this chord shape and do an up, down, up. Removing the ring finger and the middle finger on the final upstroke there. Okay, then after that we're just gonna do dead, dead, down, up as we transpose the exact same technique up one whole step. So far you have real slow. Notice how I was moving as I did that final down up on the dead strings. Okay, next we have the chord B major. We're essentially going to repeat the exact same technique with just a slight variation at the end. Sounds like this. Okay, so that was live. Dead. The down, up, down. Dead, up. Dead, up, dead. And then we're going back to this chord shape here. We're gonna play up, down, remove, up stroke, then another down stroke, followed by the open string. Okay, you put all of measure number two together and we have real slow. So essentially the only difference between measures two and measure one is that instead of doing dead strokes at the end, we're going to play voiced chords. That seventh fret with a down stroke and then the open strings with an up stroke to transition yourself down to the open E chord and a little bit of a shuffling action. Okay, very good everyone. Now we're jumping into line number two of your tablature, where we're gonna have a little bit of a shuffle over the E major chord, which is just those open strings if you have the capo here on the second fret. The first measure of this E major chord is gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was three different chord shapes there. We have the open strings. Then we also have this version of the chord where we're taking our middle finger, putting it on the second fret of the A string and the first fret of the G string. And then the third position is going to be just taking this uh, note here on the A string up one half step. Okay, so. Three different positions to get this shuffle going. Okay, so to teach this section, I'm gonna ask that you just focus on the A string, where we had the lead-in tones of that shuffle. Sounds like this. Okay, so that is O, O, two, two, three, two, O, O. O, two, two, three, two, two, two. With your pick traveling down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, now if you apply that to the open chord shapes, we have. Okay, for that first measure of E major. Okay, so that's a 16th note pattern over the E chord. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Now we're moving on to the second measure of the E major chord where we're gonna play. Okay, so this final measure of the intro essentially has four different strumming phrases. The first one sounds like this. Okay, so that was down up. Then position number two with a down stroke. And then an up stroke on position three. Now the next phrase is going to be up, down, up. Position two to position one. You put those two phrases together and we have. All right, now the third phrase is going to be up, down, up. Okay, so open, open, then go into position number two. That's three phrases there. All 
right, then we're just gonna finish up with up, down, up on the open strings. Okay, so throughout that entire measure, we have down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, you have to practice that over and over to really get the rhythm. Okay, so there you have it. That's just four measures of music, but plenty of nuance. Let's see if we can put it all together now. At a nice slow tempo, one, two, three, e and a four, e and a. Okay, very good everyone, now let's jump into verse number one. Okay, excellent work everybody. We now have that intro section down, now we're jumping into the verse section. This is much more simple. It's gonna sound like this at a slow tempo. One, two, three, e and a, four, e and a. Okay, so that was fairly simple in terms of structure. Basically, it's just a 1-4-5 progression with a percussive strumming pattern. We started off on the four chord A. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Then just a little bit more of that shuffle riff over the E chord like we did in the intro. Okay, then on line number two, we're going A to B with a pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot spot. and a little bit more shuffling on the E chord. Okay, so a simple chord progression there. Now let's talk about the strumming pattern. There's not really a consistent pattern in the recorded version or in the various live performances. So what I've done is applied one of my favorite percussive strumming patterns. Sounds like this real slow. Okay, now to break this down for you, I'm gonna be saying chicka chicka for all the muted strums. Okay, so I'm gonna slide up into the position with a downstroke. Down, down, up, chicka, chick. Okay, so far you have down, down, up, chicka, chick. All right, after that we're gonna play up, up, with a dead stroke in between them. Okay, once you've done it three times, we're gonna play chicka, chicka. Okay, as we transition to the E chord shuffle. Real slow now. Okay, now over the shuffle pattern, I'm basically playing a mixture of those two measures that we had in the intro section. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, and remember, you need to follow that lead in tune. Okay, so one more time. Okay, so now you have line number one down. Now we're going back to that first strumming pattern and we're gonna split it across two chords, the four chord and the five chord, A and B. then jump back into that shuffle over the E chord. Okay, let's see if we can put the entire verse section together now. One, two, three, E and a four, E and a. Okay, so mess around with that. Be creative, be spontaneous. You don't have to play it exactly like I just did. This is uh, one of those tunes that has a lot of room for embellishment and interpretation. 
Okay, very well done everybody. We have the intro and the verse section down. Now we're jumping into the last section you need to learn, the chorus. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three and four and. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, so we're starting off with a variation of our E major chord. I've got the fifth fret relative to the capo on the A string and the third fret of the G string. Okay, that's going to be our first chord shape. Next, we're going after a chord that is a variation of the B chord. Okay, very simple. We're just taking the middle finger and putting it on the fourth fret of the A string. Okay, replacing that ring finger. It's creating kind of like a walk down kind of vibe. All right, then go down to this shape here that we've had before. In this particular context, it's replacing an A chord. Okay, so far you have. Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you've got till it's gone. And then the E chord with the open strings on gone. Okay, from there, if you're following along using your chord sheet, we're on line number three. They pay paradise, the A chord as we knew it before. The B chord up a whole step and put up a parking lot. Where we're going to repeat our shuffle pattern twice through. Okay, let's get a good strumming pattern for this section. Okay, so all the way through this song, we've been using basically the same strumming pattern. It sounds like this on muted strings. Okay, so that is down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's what I'm going to apply to this section of the song, but I'm not going to use muted strums. Okay, so it is down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, change into the second chord shape on an upstroke. All right, then when I go to the A major chord, I'm going to play. Okay, transition into the open strings. You put all that together and we have. All right, then we're back to our percussive pattern, going from the four chord to the five chord. doubling our shuffle pattern. Okay, so the second half of that is taken directly out of the verse. Let's put that entire chorus section together now. One, two, three, and four, and... Just like that. Congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Big Yellow Taxi. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments section below. If you have a song that you'd like for me to teach next, you can click on through the link to swiftguitar.com slash request and put in that suggestion now. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Hope you're enjoying all these extra resources. Thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.